Hello, welcome to the Silverstack Fundamentals tutorial series. We created a 10 session course that covers everything you need to know about Silverstack. Whether you're a data manager, DIT or dailies operator, this series will get you comfortable with Silverstack's UI, streamline your workflow and equip you with many nifty tips. From project setup to secure offloading, metadata management to dailies creation, we'll cover it all. My name is Micha Beer. I work as a freelance digital workflow expert on both small and large productions, mostly fiction. And I've become a bit of a Pomfret fanboy over time because Silverstack makes it so easy to ensure that all information, all that valuable information that is collected on a film set will end up in post-production together with the media. We will get into the nitty gritty of what that means as we go over the different parts of the process in this series. But let's start at the beginning and ask the question, what is Silverstack? In its simplest form, Silverstack can be seen as a tool that helps us make sure that all the original camera footage, also known as OCF, and the production sound is copied safely and securely to various backup drives. In other words, it provides safe and efficient data management features. But putting it that way would sell Silverstack short. And that's because if we use everything that Silverstack has to offer, we should see it as a one-stop shop for all data management and daily processing needs. The full suite of tools offered within Silverstack cover the data management as already described, but also include playback and verification tools for quality control, look application and limited color grading tools, synchronization tools for audio and video uh, files, and a powerful transcoder to templatize and create different transcoded versions of your material. And maybe most importantly, as a data manager, DIT or dailies operator, you are gathering incredible amounts of information about the footage that has been shot. Information that is invaluable for everyone working in post-production. This information that tells something about our media is what we call metadata. And to import and export this metadata, Silverstack offers options that are compatible with virtually any professional use software or hardware from digital cinema cameras to editing systems, dailies platforms and grading tools. These integrations enable you to hand over your work and all the metadata you collected to every other department in post-production, specifically tailored to their needs. Now you might have noticed that I've mentioned a couple of different job titles a few times already, being the data manager, the DIT and the dailies operator. You're probably aware that there can be quite a bit of confusion around these titles within the industry. And I've found over the years that especially the title of the DIT, or Digital Imaging Technician, is oftentimes used as a catch-all phrase for anything or anyone dealing with data and dailies processing, which obfuscates the fact that there are many different tasks and potentially different roles that surround the entire process or the entire digital workflow. In this series, we won't get into the semantics of these job titles, but nonetheless, what we should recognize is that there are many different configurations of teams and workflows for different productions, and thus, that the process around data management and dailies creation is never the same. And because of that, Pomfret creates their tools with flexibility of workflows in mind. None of the Pomfret products really force you into a specific order of operations or a specific workflow, but rather provide a lot of different possibilities for you to decide if and how you want to make use of them. Admittedly, there's one small downside to this philosophy, and that is that the interface of Silverstack can look a little bit daunting in the beginning, and it can be unclear where to begin. But not to worry though, you've come to the right place, because that's exactly what I will show you over the course of this series. And to make this course as practical as possible, I will guide you through everything Silverstack has to offer following a process and a workflow that I've found to work on some of my productions. As will be pointed out throughout the series, you can easily deviate from this workflow and do things in a way that works better for you. That's exactly the point actually. With Silverstack, you can design your own workflow that fits your needs. So what will we cover in this series? Let's have a look. Before we start our work, we will talk about why the library is the centerpiece to the Silverstack suite and how to set up our project before our first shoot day. After that, we will finally start going over an example workflow in which we will go through every step of the process, as you can see in the index over here. 
We'll cover everything from offloading data to metadata management, look application, and how to hand over our work to other departments in post. You could choose to sit back and watch these tutorial videos, but you're also very welcome to follow along and perform the steps as I will explain them to you. And for this, you can get a free trial license from the Pomfret website or contact Pomfret for a trial license if you have already installed one previously. In this series, we will be looking at Silverstack Lab at all times, which is the most complete version in the Silverstack product family. And whenever we are looking at a part of the suite that is specific to Lab, we will make that clear with a badge like this one. And just to note, as Silverstack is continuously maintained, little things in the interface might change a bit over time, so don't let small differences confuse you. Silverstack Lab is built with the whole dailies process in mind. As the name suggests, this is meant to be the digital dailies lab in one package. And Silverstack XT is meant to be useful for those that aren't tasked with actual dailies creation and therefore provides a slightly more limited feature set that serves those who are more exclusively working as a data manager. Which product is best for you depends on your needs. You can find an overview of the current various products and their differences when you follow the link in the video description. Oh, and by the way, we will do that quite regularly throughout the series to share links to specific pages on the Pomfret website or knowledge base. You will see that the documentation in there is a treasure trove of information. You'll find it particularly useful to bookmark as a resource for after you finish the series and want to either refresh your understanding or to take a little bit of a deeper dive under the hood of Silverstack. So be wise and bookmark the link right now. It's also linked in the description of this video. So are you ready to join me for all sessions? Head over to the Pomfret website, create or log into your existing account and get access to the free course. See you there.